I am so excited to be in the kitchen of my dear friend, smoking hot Abby J. That's right, Abby Jackson on this edition of Community Matters. I'm Trisha Heiss and we're going to be talking with Abby Jackson today about all of the different things that she's involved with, all the different businesses in which she is a part of, has founded, has started, has created, has poured her life and her soul into. We're going to be in the kitchen today with Abby Jackson. Perhaps she's got a surprise for us. Perhaps she's going to grill us something on that wonderful big green egg outside. Abby Jackson is a local here in Habersham County and has a wonderful, beautiful place on the Sequoia River. She is a co-owner of Black Hawk Fly Fishing. She um, also has the Sequoia River Farmer's Market. We're going to be talking about that and the upcoming opening of the Farmer's Market here on Abby Jackson's property. We're also going to be talking about a couple of different publications that are coming out. She's got her own cookbook. I'm so excited about that. I've got to get myself an autograph signed copy of it. And there's also a new publication about locally grown in the state of Georgia. And we're going to be talking to, about that today with Abby Jackson. Welcome again to Community Matters. I'm Trisha Heiss and let's come on in to the kitchen of Abby Jackson. I am in the kitchen of my dear friend, smoking hot Abby J. Abby Jackson. How you doing? Great. It's so good to see it you. It is so good to be here. I've missed you. I missed you too. We'll yeah. have to do this more often. Yeah. I am so excited to be in your kitchen and to be looking at all of these wonderful ingredients. Um, obviously, we're going to be cooking today. We are. Trisha, I have a, a really special pizza just for you. This is become my husband's favorite. It's a, it's got a chipotle sauce. I'm using my salsa as a uh, tomato, it's not a tomato sauce, but it's chipotle peach instead of the tomato sauce. Oh wow, which How The flavor, you know, it, it brings out all the flavors and all these other things that we're gonna put on the pizza, but it's so good to have you in my kitchen, I finally. Know, I know, I'm so excited. Yeah. I am yeah. so excited. Well, Abby, um, you have worked incredibly hard. You work hard every single day. I tell you, you're one of the hardest working women in show business that I know. And so I want to talk to our viewers about some of the things that you're doing in your life. Um, first of all, you're out here on this beautiful, beautiful Sequoia River. Um, you've got a lot of river frontage here, and I think that you're involved in some fly fishing. Is that right? We are. We, My husband and I opened up Black Hawk Fly Fishing in 1996. And this has been just a big, a long journey, but it's been a very, very interesting adventure for both of us. Uh, in 1996, we opened it up and I had a corporate job. I was in corporate sales. I got off the road in 2005 and then that's when I started, you know, wanting to do more with my passion, cooking, farming, just, you know, my energy, I had I had so much energy just traveling all the time because I traveled for 20 years. I had to put my energy into something and boy, did I ever. I mean, <laughs> well, there's not, a day that, there's not a day that goes by that you are not working from dusk till dawn and well beyond those hours. Um, do the... Is the general public um, invited to to contact you about the fly fishing? And, Absolutely, and we we do a, a kids school too. We just had the upper day school from Spartanburg here, so we invite everybody. Kids, they need to be at least ten years old so they can uh, retain uh, the 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 experience and learn how to fly fish. Uh, if they're younger than that, it's hard to keep their attention. But yeah, we we really like having everybody, family, families, corporate trips. We we do most all of those, and then we have couples that, that you know that retreat that like oh, to get away. Nice. Yeah. And do you have um, some space on the premise here at your home or your homestead where people can actually stay in a cabin or? We have a farmhouse. My husband and I restored an 1860s farmhouse and. 
it took um, uh, quite a while to do that. It, we, we made it uh, kind of comfortable. It's mm -hmm. not the Ritz Carlton, but it, it is comfortable for the fishermen. They, they like it. Uh, it, it, it encompasses the, far, the farmer's market. That's where I have my farmer's market. So the whole farm is built around the farmhouse and it's kind of like agritourism. We're really in agritourism. Uh, Destination. Play. Yes, we Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I actually had a segue as it relates to the farm, um, the fishermen that stay in the farmhouse. Didn't you start kind of using the fishermen that stayed there as your little test subjects right, to, right. to come I up did. with some I wonderful, did. I, I did. Some wonderful yeah. products? I, I really enjoy um, making chili. I mean, that was one of the things they really, really asked me to do. And so David Zelsky with Georgia Traveler, he... Um, he came over and he was doing a show. He was doing a TV show on us and wanted um, to fly fish and do the show. And he caught the biggest fish, 24 inch uh, rainbow. And then he came over to my house and um, wanted to, to have lunch. And so he started eating my chili and ate like five bowls. And so five we'll jar bowls. it. Well, well that's, that's what I did. And so okay. from that, that kind of got me started with the food. And, you know, as an entrepreneur, I think it, it, a lot of people are just scared to really step outside that box. It took me about a year to, to really step outside because you really don't know how it's going to be received. Right. So when I did, I... It, it it went well, but it, it, took was, off. It, it took off. But it was a lot of work. I've yes. done probably over 250 shows. Uh, I've met all these wonderful people. Network with Georgia Grown. I'm a big supporter of Georgia Grown. That is on my label. All my products are made. Uh, my sauces and hot sauces made with Georgia Grown products. So it's uh, it all comes together with food friends, clients. Uh, we've just got a Black Hawk family and I, I really like the repeat business. Yes, and, yeah. and who could blame them? Who could blame me for wanting to um, to sample it, which hopefully we're going to get to we do are, that today. We are. Now your products are actually in our local supermarkets, is that right? That's right. Um, the first month after I developed, got the bean and jalapeno salsa out, I called Ingles and my prior work history I did uh, work with some supermarket chains and I kind of had some knowledge on how to go about getting into those and so they allowed me to sell their products and it was a trial basis I had to go and set up and and I would uh, they gave me about five stores and then uh, I would sample products and then they gave me 10 stores. Oh, wow. And then, you know, it, this went on for about six months. Right. So I called uh, my buyer up and I said, listen, you know, I'm, I'm constantly replenishing. We need to warehouse my product. And so they did. Give us a rundown of some of the products that we can find in our local Ingalls, our local Kroger, that sort of thing with your name on it. You can find the bean and jalapeno. Uh, you can find Abby J's uh, chipotle peach, uh, Abby J's roasted garlic, uh, Abby J's black bean and herb, and then Abby J's smoking hot sauce. And uh, I can tell you the bean and jalapeno salsa and the black bean and herb, they were finalists in the flavor of Georgia. <gasps> Tell yeah. me about the flavor of Georgia. What is that? The flavor of Georgia, you uh, submit product and then the, it's a part of the University of Georgia system. They uh, uh, partner with the agriculture, Depart Department of Agriculture. And what they do is they, they have uh, entrepreneurs send their product in and it, you're competing with hundreds of other products. And in 2013, I was selected my first salsa, which is my favorite, the bean and jalapeno. Okay. It was selected and this past year, the bean, black bean and herb. So it's just an honor to be part of that program because that's where you really do network with uh, a lot of others that are, are creating new products and you get to sample their product. And, and everybody's really helping each other. That's phenomenal, and congratulations, Thank by you. the way. So we, we as the general public can go um, to the local supermarket, look for your products, and they will be there, and, and pick up some of these wonderful salsas. Right. Now, what about the smoking hot sauce? Because I gotta tell you, you're doing a wonderful job with, with media coverage, with social media coverage of the smoking hot flavor. So tell me, where can I get smoked? So smoked, you can get smoked at uh, Beatty's Country Store. Okay. They have it. Uh, and that's in ha Helen. Right. Uh, Heppersham Winery has it. I'm trying to get it into Ingalls. Uh, submitting a new product takes time. 
uh, but but you can get it in Kroger. I just picked up 70 more stores, so wow. all over Atlanta. I have a distributor now, so uh, there is a Georgia grown section in Kroger where Kroger is supporting local. Local farmers. Local, all over the state of Georgia. It's a huge section in Gainesville. That store has a huge section of Georgia grown products and you can find uh, just a lot of uh, wonderful products in that section, including mine. Great, yeah. phenomenal, that's awesome. Well, you like to spread the wealth, right? I do. You like to support <laughs> other entrepreneurs, correct? I do, I know it, it, it was really hard for me to get started and if I'd had met someone like me to help me, I always want to pay it forward to help others to, to give them that hope that you can do it. Right. Because it was real scary the first first months of this. So tell us what you're doing in order to give back to the community and, and lend a hand to those entrepreneurs that are out there that really would like to have a voice or a place in order to meet people and sell their products. Well, that's uh, the, the farmer's market. The Sequoia River Farmer's Market will be open. We open this farmer's market on behalf of that and also it was uh, because I was growing uh, veggies and herbs and things for some restaurants in Atlanta and that became so overwhelming I found that I needed to have a market for them and also I wanted to have a market to invite other artisans like myself to come and sell their wares and we don't charge for them to set up so they can come up and meet all kinds of people it really gets it, it they gain exposure and it really helps them with their confidence and, and knowing that they can meet other people that will help them uh, get more into the marketplace. Sounds like a perfect opportunity. This farmer's market will be June 27th. Uh, I have Ziegler Honey. He won Flavor of Georgia. Wow. From Valdosta, Georgia. He's coming up. Uh, Clay from Oliver Farms. Uh, Clay does this wonderful infused sunflower oil oh, that wow. I use on everything. This, okay. is, this is really, really good. Um, I like it better than olive oil because it's just got all that flavor and that's what I, I like to use things that add flavor, not calories. I have um, Mark Watson locally, he bakes, so he's going to be baking a lot of his homemade goods. Yummy! Um, <laughs> Unicoi <laughs> Preserves will be here. Oh good! Laurie Joe's down in uh, I think it's Osceola, Georgia. Okay. So I've got loads of people that are coming to this market and, and Springer Mountain Farms will be, we will be doing some chicken on the big green egg. Oh, wow. I'm featuring uh, Springer Mountain Farms. Well, I plan on being here. I'm going to bring yeah. Maxie and my family. And so we will be here to uh, observe and to taste and to take home a bunch of great goodies. Good. And again, that's going to be on Saturday, starting Saturday, June the 27th. Is right. that correct? That's right. What time do you open? We will open the market at 8 a.m. and it's because a lot of, uh, there's there's people that like to get out early. Yes. I'm one of those. I get out, I go. There's people that sleep in. So we'll be open all day. My market is not open from just 8 to 12 or 9 to okay. 12. We're going to stay open all day. As long as we have customers, we're, we're going to be open. Great. What all do you have planted in the fields? Oh my gosh. <laughs> As I drove what in not? today, I know, I was so excited <laughs> looking at all of the wonderful things mm -hmm. that are planted in your huge garden. Oh my gosh. Uh, we started out with corn uh, because we have to plant that early. That got planted right around Easter. Okay. We planted like nine rows early and then a couple of weeks later we planted, uh, it's a sweet corn, it's a merit sweet corn. And we also planted some ornamental corn behind that and some gourds, different gourds. And in the other garden that's on the side where the farmhouse is, we've got every kind of tomato you can think of. Oh, wow. Peppers the same way. Uh, I'm patty a pan, girl. squash, zucchini, cucumbers, spaghetti squash, uh, okra. I mean, you name wow. it, we're going to have it. One of the uh, um, things that you have presented here today that I'm very excited about just looking at is the um, Chipotle peach pizza that we've right. got going on here. Right, and and there's uh, secrets of this pizza and how you make it in okay. my new book. I've got my cookbook oh. coming out, and I'm not going to give you all the secrets, but the, the main secret is the Chipotle peach instead of tomato sauce. And you'll okay. find that that flavor just enhances all of these ingredients. Okay. 
Perfect. So yeah, this is a this is going to be a really nice pizza, and we can get started making yeah, this let's pizza. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Um, first, we have some roasted veggies. I just roast this. What I do is marinate it in the Oliver Farm infused uh, herb oil. Okay, and, and that's the sunflower. That's the sunflower, sunflower oil. oil. And he'll be here, Clay Oliver from Pitts, Georgia. That's right around Cordell, Georgia. He'll be here just to to sample his um, sunflower oils. And he's got a pecan oil. He's got a pumpkin. He's got uh, about five different infused oils, but that's my favorite because of wow. it. it's got a little heat to it, of so course. So what, what did you roast exactly? Or I had, marinate? okay, Vidalia onion, okay. uh, bell pepper, and mushrooms, okay? Perfect. It's beautiful. It's already gorgeous. So no cheese on it. Then we have a little bit of uh, pepperoni. We want to add some pepperoni. Uh, the pork uh, really, uh, with the chipotle flavor, you want to use uh, pork because that's they kind of go hand in hand together. Um, they complement each other very yeah. well. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon yeah. is perfect. So That's exactly. bacon. Yes. Yes. Bacon. You never go wrong with bacon. And of course, this is also mm. a pork product, um, yeah. which will complement the pepperoni and the chipotle and the peach. Yeah. Yummy. Gosh, that looks so delicious. The more, the, it's kind of kind of meatier meat and veggies. And if you don't want as much, you just don't add as much. And then I have... I have a mixture of mozzarella, uh, cheddar cheese here, a little bit of Italian. I love mixing my cheeses because okay. of the flavor. You're going to get more flavor when you mix. Here we go. Wow. And here we go. The last thing we want to put on this pizza um, is some, well, not, not the last thing. This is some Parmesan. Oh. Parmesan's got a little nutty flavor, so it's going to add that. And, and you, there's another secret about this pizza, but you'll have to buy the book okay. to get that secret. We're going to talk about this book yeah. as this pizza's cooking. And then I'm going to add just a few non, um, th this will give it just a little crunch, not to, uh, Marinate these or cook these, you'll have just a little crunch in now, your pizza. I'm not trying to show my ignorance here, but are these banana peppers? These are bell peppers. Bell peppers, okay. Yeah, uh, you know, I would love to put some jalapenos on there, but I didn't know if you like How spicy, yeah. how smoking hot you were going to make it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it hot, but we'll just hold off. I think okay. the chipotle is going to have enough heat, and there you have it. Thank you again, Abby, for welcoming us into your home, for showing us all of these wonderful ingredients, wonderful products, and talking to us about all of the many things that you're involved in, in our community, in our state, and in our tummies, and more importantly, my palate. I enjoy just having a kitchen like this to share it. Yes. Well, and I do have to give you a big shout out because your give back to the community is remarkable. Thank you thank so much. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you're hosting the Farmer's Market, the Sequoia River Farmer's Market, that's going to be on June the 27th, starting at 8 o'clock a.m. You're opening up your, your um, home, your facilities, your farm to people that are entrepreneurs. They can come up here free of charge. Right. Not right. charging them a booth fee or a setup fee or anything like that. So thank you for doing that. Right. I've got also got to give you a huge shout out for your recent donation to the little school in Clarksville, Georgia. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to do I know. The, the tapas. I love, uh, that's one of my favorites is yes. to prepare small plates. Right. Well, because you get to eat more and, uh, and more of everything, but less. Right. You have more variety. That's exactly yeah. right. And I have to say that I am very excited to have been a part of the um, the team that won that. So right. I will be, Nathan mm -hmm. and I will be coming back up here and um, having a wonderful time with you and John and all of the other people that will be part of the Tapas event here, right. here and in your we, own kitchen. Yeah, I hope we can do it during the summer when yes. we have a lot of fresh yes. uh, veggies and Produce. things. Oh, yeah. how exciting. Yeah. Well, one of the things that you were talking about before we went to our break was the fact that you are involved in a couple of different publications that are coming out very shortly. And in fact, I guess that's two publications. Is that right? Right, right. Uh, I have a cookbook, Abby J's Farm Style Living. Uh, the cookbook is a, a collection of my uh, recipes. I've, I've cooked over and over many, many times. A lot of my clients' favorites, uh, a lot of my favorites that I like to do. 
uh, that will be coming out uh, at the farmers market. I will be autographing books at the farmers market. The other publication is Southern Farm and Garden. My uh, publisher that's doing my cookbook, we became partners because we felt like we wanted to follow this uh, farm to table movement and Southern Farm and Garden is going to be a, a coffee table lifestyle magazine following the farm to table movement. It's an educational publication. It's going to be put out biannual. It's something you don't want, you, you, want, you will not you want, want to hold on to you it. You want to hold on to it. Uh, it's going to be packed full of recipes. We've got uh, great sponsors. We're so excited. Can you tell me how many pages are in the publication? It's close to 96. And Holy that's, cow! Yeah. And that's not even the cookbook. No. This is a very nice collection that's um, in a very nice magazine format right. that we can hold on to. Lots of beautiful photos. And, and one thing about this publication is that it's all original. Everything editorial wise, all the photos, you have never seen these before. Okay. They were, it's no clip art, so it takes time to put these things together. So mm -hmm. I've been out, out of town quite a bit and uh, working on, on the uh, publication as well as my cookbook too. But a lot of my cookbook was done over the years, so I've collected right. recipes for that. It was not as demanding as this publication. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. you, I, you, you're telling us that you've got some wonderful sponsors. Can you tell us where we can find the publication once it comes out? Uh, you can order it online. Okay. And you can also call us. Uh, it's going to be uh, all of our branded sponsors will have it. Okay. And they will be, if they've branded with us, they could have it at the farmer's market because any that brands with us uh, they get so many free copies all right and also people that have like uh, if they have a retail store they can sell it oh, it's gonna be perfect. it's gonna be throughout the state of Georgia and and of course if you want to just go online you'll be able to um, to order it. We've also got a uh, media, video media on, on it'll, it's going to go up on all the people that we interviewed. There'll be live editorial. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, can you give us a telephone number or an email address or a website oh, yeah. to visit? Uh, you can visit uh, Southern Farming Garden and you can also visit um, um, Abby J's Gourmet. We're going to have a link to all of our okay. everything. Uh, just just stay uh, just stay tuned to the Sequoia River Farmers Market. They 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 we will be putting uh, where you can find everything. And of course, I'll be autographing books uh, at the farmers market that day. I'm excited. Yeah. I hope my yeah. book is reserved. Your book is okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited yeah. about that. Well, I know that you were so big into the movement, into um, um, making sure that your your local your products that are grown here are also in our local restaurants or in our local supermarkets. Right. Um, is the publication also a hint of the flavor of Georgia grown? It it really is. Okay. It's following agriculture. Agriculture is number one uh, industry for Georgia. So we want to follow that. We want to educate people. We want to educate them on different topics that relate to the farm to table movement. That way, you know, when they read about it, they won't. They'll know what organic means. They'll know what maybe what gluten free means. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Now, are some of your your um, produce products that you produce here, are they in local restaurants in our area? They are. Harvest Habersham, we've, we just recently, about a year ago, uh, Harvest Habersham opened. It's okay. probably the only farm to table restaurant we have in Habersham, I think. Okay. Talk, talk to us a little bit more about this cookbook. Um, are these recipes that have inspired you over the years? Are there any family recipes, perhaps? Oh, there's some family recipes. And, uh, you know, one thing about uh, uh, about my cookbook, uh, my grandmother, uh, I, I grew up on a farm, uh -huh. Tricia, so living with five brothers. Growing up on the farm, you just, you, you know, uh, I came back after I, I married John and, and you have so much appreciation for for where you come from after uh -huh. you go out and see how, see the world, see how people live, and then come back and feel so blessed 
right with uh, where you come from well, exactly. where I come from I'm very blessed that's exactly to, right. to have my childhood and and growing up on a farm because a lot of people don't know how to appreciate that until they go out into the world because yes. you know agriculture it touches everybody it touches everybody and everything and you've mentioned that the cookbook will be out shortly Yes. Is that right? Yes, it will be. Uh, we uh, The publication's first, June the 10th, okay. and then the cookbook will be out. I'm releasing it, uh, the grand opening of the farmer's market. Perfect. Yeah. How exciting. So. We've talked a lot about the different farm-to-table issues going on in the state of Georgia. We have talked about a, a lot about your peppers and how you started and your black bean salsa and your wonderful yeah. chipotle peach. And we've been working on a little bit of a, of a pizza thing. Yeah. Tell us, tell us, um, while we went to break, you, you put that into the gr big green egg? I did. Uh, okay. The uh, pizza, this, you know, and the dough, you, you have to have good dough. I, I This is real dough. I always make my pizza with real dough. So okay. whether you get it at Publix or make it, you want to start with that. That's going to make the difference in your pizza. Well, it's fresh. It's be the best pizza you'll I hope you'll ever have. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. right. I'm sure it will yeah, be. It was absolutely gorgeous going in there. And of course, you're cooking it on the big green egg. I am. What uh, is the significance about that? Uh, we became a culinary partner with Big Green Egg uh, last fall. Uh, we did a t TV show with O'Neill Williams, and they felt like we had the perfect destination to really uh, be a culinary partner with Big Green Egg because we have the right clientele, the fishermen, the, the, and, and we have a Big Green Egg over at the farmhouse for the fishermen to use and that they give, they get to have that ultimate cooking experience wow. while they're here and believe me, they have enjoyed it. I, I bet. Mean, so it's just spreading the word and becoming more of a partner with them to advertise their product mm -hmm. and we get to use their product. So I've, I think mo most women may be intimidated well, I was that. about to say, I wasn't trying to go down that path, but at the same time, I don't know that I would have had the same confidence level that you had when you went and took that pizza out and put it on that egg. I was like, holy cow, she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah. So, Well, it's, it's just the dynamics, like starting it, getting the charcoal, getting the temperature right. Uh, I, I think those are the technical issues about the big green egg that maybe uh, women are intimidated, but it's no, it's no big deal. Once you do it, you, you got it. And the taste is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, do we need to go check on it? We or? do. Wow, it is perfect. Yay. I'm you know exactly what you're doing, <laughs> 12 don't you? minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes, perfectly. And you can play with the ingredients. If you want all veggie, it's, uh -huh. you still get a really good taste uh, cooking on the big green egg. More so than in the oven. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's like your own mini brick oven, Italian brick oven style pizza, but it's in a big green egg. Wow. Well, you did a phenomenal job. Thank you. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. You made it appear to be so easy and simple. Even yeah. I could do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Are we ready to have some? Yes. I would love to All have right. a piece. So this has always been a hit. Yeah. Everybody loves these. I mean, I have, um, I make so many different kind varieties, but mm. this is the favorite, the Chipotle peach mm -hmm. using it instead of tomato sauce. I love the flavor of it. It's like, it's very rich, but then with the peppers on top of it, it makes it like really crisp and light. And if you wanted it hotter, you could absolutely put some smoking hot sauce on it. Okay. Yeah. And that will light it up. Oh, that will, or jalapenos, <laughs> uh, the garden fresh jalapenos, mm -hmm. just dice them and put it on top of it. And I, I love hot food, so. Wow. I just didn't know if you could take the heat. <laughs> Can you take that? I better can, can you take, take it or get out of your kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> You've been talking about your publication that's coming out on June the 11th. We're very excited about that. Um, tell us, who's your business partner? Well, she's the same person that I met uh, to do my cookbook. It's Nancy Suttles. Nancy uh, does the lifestyle magazine for the Big Green Egg. So it was kind of uh, ironic that we we met right after we became culinary partners with the Big Green Egg. Wow. And O'Neill Williams did the outdoor show on us last fall. Yes. And it was, um, I was going, I, I woke up one morning and thought I needed my product in Athens, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, uh, I was at Southern Spa and Patio, and the the lady there said, 
you need to meet Nancy Suttles. We'd, Abby, you could do some schools for us if you do cooking schools and, and that's what you want to do. She called Nancy up. Nancy came to the store and, and you know, we didn't do cooking schools. That Something happened with that whole concept of, of them trying to put that together. Okay. But what got put together was, uh, was us and uh -huh. we, we uh, became uh, business partners. I only wanted really a cookbook, but Nancy has been in publication, uh, publishing for 25 years. Wow. She did the Rob Report. She is very talented. She does the Lifestyle Magazine for the Big Green Egg, like I Holy said, and that's cow. millions of that, that. She that's millions of copies throughout the year. Yes. They they have about six or eight uh, publications every year. So, yeah, I was really fortunate to to meet her and have her. Uh, publish my cookbook and mm -hmm. also have her as a partner for Southern Farming Garden. That's wonderful. Is she going to be available on the 27th? She'll be here. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. So looking yeah. forward to meeting yeah. her. She's in a very, very nice uh, lady and I'm, I'm just blessed to have met her. What an exciting day. I just want to say thank you so much to Abby Jackson for inviting me into her home and into her kitchen for such a wonderful event, learning all about cooking on the big green egg, about the publications that are coming out. Don't forget the magazine will be here on June the 10th. The Farmer's Market, the Sequoia Farmer's Market will be opening on June the 27th at 8 o'clock a.m. at Abby J's Black Hawk Fly Fishing. So come on out, join me, and I'm going to be enjoying my pizza.